Baking Baking involves cooking food by surrounding it with dry heat in an oven. It's commonly used for bread, cakes, pastries, and casseroles. The steady, even heat helps to evenly cook the food and develop rich flavors. Boiling Boiling cooks food by submerging it in boiling water. It's quick and simple, ideal for pasta, eggs, and vegetables. The high heat softens the food, making it tender and easy to eat. Grilling Grilling involves cooking food on a grill over an open flame or hot coals. It's perfect for meats, vegetables, and seafood, adding a smoky flavor and charred texture. Keep an eye on the food to prevent burning. Steaming Steaming cooks food using steam from boiling water. It's a gentle method that preserves nutrients, making it ideal for vegetables, fish, and dumplings. Steaming keeps the food moist and tender. Frying Frying involves cooking food in hot oil. There are two main types deep frying, where food is submerged in oil, and pan frying, where food is cooked in a small amount of oil. It's great for crispy textures but can be high in fat. For roasting Roasting cooks food with dry heat in an oven, similar to baking, but usually at higher temperatures. It's often used for meats and vegetables, resulting in a caramelized exterior and tender interior. Poaching Poaching gently cooks food in simmering water or broth. It's perfect for delicate foods like eggs, fish, and fruit. The low, gentle heat helps maintain the food's shape and texture. Sautéing Sautéing involves cooking food quickly in a small amount of oil or butter over medium-high heat. It's ideal for vegetables, meat, and seafood, allowing for quick, flavorful meals. Broiling Broiling cooks food using high heat from above, typically in an oven. It's great for melting cheese, browning toppings, and quickly cooking meats and vegetables. Keep a close eye to prevent burning. Slow cooking Slow cooking involves cooking food at a low temperature for an extended period. It's perfect for tough cuts of meat, stews, and soups, resulting in tender, flavorful dishes. Microwaving Microwaving uses microwave radiation to quickly cook or reheat food. It's convenient for fast meals and leftovers, but might not provide the same texture and flavor as traditional methods. Blanching Blanching involves briefly boiling food and then plunging it into ice water to stop the cooking process. It's used to preserve color, texture, and nutrients in vegetables before freezing or further cooking. Pressure cooking. Pressure cooking uses high pressure steam to cook food quickly. It's ideal for tough meats, beans, and stews, reducing cooking time significantly while retaining moisture and flavor. Smoking. Smoking cooks food using smoke from burning wood or charcoal. It's commonly used for meats and fish, infusing a deep smoky flavor over a long cooking period. Stir frying. Stir frying involves cooking food quickly at high heat in a wok or large pan with a small amount of oil. It's commonly used in Asian cuisine for meats, vegetables, and noodles, resulting in crisp, tender textures. Sous vide. Sous vide involves cooking food in a vacuum sealed bag submerged in a water bath at a precise, low temperature. It's great for evenly cooked, tender meats and perfectly textured vegetables. Braising. Braising combines searing food at high heat and then cooking it slowly in liquid. It's perfect for tough meats and root vegetables, resulting in rich, tender dishes. Simmering Simmering cooks food gently in liquid just below the boiling point. It's ideal for soups, sauces, and stews, allowing flavors to meld and develop over time. Griddling Griddling involves cooking food on a flat, hot surface like a griddle or flat-top grill. It's perfect for pancakes, burgers, and sandwiches, providing a consistent, even heat. Poling, poling, or butter roasting, involves cooking food in a covered pot with butter and aromatic herbs. It's typically used for poultry and game birds, resulting in a tender, flavorful dish. Curing, curing preserves and flavors food using salt, sugar, and spices. It's used for meats, fish, and vegetables, creating products like ham, bacon, and pickles over time. Dehydrating. Dehydrating removes moisture from food to preserve it. It's used for fruits, vegetables, and meats, resulting in dried foods that last longer and retain their nutrients. Fermenting. Fermenting uses bacteria, yeast, or other microorganisms to convert sugars into alcohol or acids. It's used for foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, and kimchi, adding unique flavors and health benefits. Basting. 
Basting involves periodically spooning or brushing liquid over food while it cooks. It's commonly used for roasting meats, keeping them moist and flavorful. Caramelizing. Caramelizing cooks sugar or food with natural sugars slowly until it turns golden brown and develops a rich, sweet flavor. It's used for onions, fruits, and desserts. Flambeing. Flambeing involves cooking food with alcohol and then igniting it. It's used for dramatic presentation and to add flavor, commonly seen in dishes like Bananas Foster and Steak Diane. Pickling. Pickling preserves food in a solution of vinegar, salt, and spices. It's used for cucumbers, onions, and other vegetables, creating tangy, flavorful snacks and condiments. Barbecuing. Barbecuing involves cooking food slowly over indirect heat, often with wood or charcoal. It's perfect for ribs, brisket, and other meats, infusing a smoky flavor over a long cooking period. Sealing. Sealing involves cooking food in a hot, dry pan or grill to create a caramelized crust. It's commonly used for meats before roasting or braising, adding flavor and texture. Macerating. Macerating softens and flavors food by soaking it in liquid. It's used for fruits, often with sugar or alcohol, enhancing their natural sweetness and texture. Marinating. Marinating involves soaking food in a seasoned liquid before cooking. It's used to tenderize and flavor meats, fish, and vegetables, enhancing their taste and texture. Sprouting. Sprouting involves germinating seeds to create edible sprouts. It's used for grains, beans, and legumes, increasing their nutritional value and making them easier to digest. Tempering. Tempering involves slowly heating and cooling chocolate to stabilize it for making candies and desserts. It ensures a smooth texture and shiny finish. Infusing. Infusing involves steeping ingredients like herbs, spices, or fruits in a liquid to flavor it. It's used for oils, teas, and alcohols, adding depth and complexity to dishes. Torching. Torching involves using a culinary torch to apply direct heat to the surface of food, often to caramelize sugar on desserts like creme brulee or to add a finishing touch to savory dishes. Roasting. Roasting combines pressure cooking and deep frying to create crispy, juicy fried chicken. It's a popular method for achieving a perfect balance of tenderness and crunchiness. Clay Pot Cooking Clay pot cooking involves using a clay pot to cook food slowly, allowing flavors to meld together. It's commonly used in various cuisines to prepare stews, rice dishes, and meats, enhancing the natural taste of the ingredients. In conclusion, these cooking methods offer a diverse array of techniques to prepare delicious and flavorful dishes. Each method brings its unique touch, whether it's the tender results of braising or the crispiness of frying. Thanks for diving into the world of cooking techniques with us. A like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating explorations.